for today. Uh, welcome in, welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Voodoo Val and I am here to do the Adobe Live game show and I'm super excited about it. It's been a while. How have you guys been? How have you folks been? Have you missed the game show? Have you missed me? Because I've missed you and the show, of course. Uh, Sam, good to see you. I see Panda in the chat, Bliss, Fergie, uh, Gordon, Clever, uh, let's see, Biola, Afroja, um, so many people. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Um, so, for those of you who don't know what the Adobe Live Game Show is, I'm going to give you a quick rundown. I'm going to make some announcements and all that good stuff, and then we're going to dive into the epicness. Um, I missed you too, Afroja. I'm glad you're here. Uh, so, if you're over on the YouTube channel, please come over to behance.net slash live, because that is where I am going to be reading the chat. I am not reading the YouTube chat. Um, I'm only reading over here on, on Behance, so please come on over. Um, we are going to do some... We're actually going to do some word picking today, because I'd like to add um, some new words to our, our game mode here, and I, I got to thinking, I've been looking for words on the Discord, which I will show to you in a moment, um, but I, th I think it, we would actually have more luck if I if I snagged a few keywords from you folks in the chat. So we're going to do that. But um, first, what is the game show? How does it work? And what is in store for you folks today? Um, the Adobe Live Game Show is this cool segment I get to do where we have a game show wheel that I am going to spin um, that is going to grab us some keywords. So these keywords down at the bottom um, are, are going to change today because we're going to pick some new ones. And basically today and tomorrow, I'm going to use at least four of these six keywords uh, that we roll for that we spin for and I'm gonna come up with a project on the fly totally on the fly totally off the top of my head um, I am going to look for um, some ideas and inspiration in the chat as well so if you folks want to kind of jump in and um, put in any suggestions or help me come up with some cool concepts we'll do some sketches and figure out what we can make with our keywords and then we'll dive into the creation of it um, I'm gonna change the medium here because it says illustration but today we are doing graphic design um, so let me let me change this real quick uh, save and that should update for us there we go let me bump this over um, just a little bit um, all right so we've got our graphic design in there we're gonna change these words but I am going to um, actually get some cool keywords from you folks so our keywords um, are things let me pop over here and I'll show you our wheel um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let me pop over here that should be it yes yeah, so um, these are the keywords that we've been using for a while uh, we've got package building nature music blobs, magic, vaporwave, spooky, all these cool things. But I would love to actually add some brand new um, words from you folks in the chat uh, that we can put in here before I spin it. So if you folks have some interesting ideas, um, please throw them in the chat now because I am going to return to that, throw some, some words in there um, and get everything going. Uh, but before that, I feel like I have a really, really important announcement to make. Um, as you folks know, September 13th, this uh, this past Monday, I believe, um, was uh, my birthday. And I received a really fabulous birthday present, which I have actually worn for you folks today. So I just want to get up and model this t-shirt that I received from my sister. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of my seat real quick. This is, my camera is flipped, so the words aren't super legible, but this is my Bananakin Has the High Ground t-shirt. As you can see, it is um, probably the greatest t-shirt that has ever been created, um, and it is mine now, and I will be wearing 
sharing this as often as possible. So Star Wars fans out there or non-Star Wars fans out there, take a look, bask in the greatness of this t-shirt. Um, Bananakin is all powerful and as it says, he has the high ground, so watch out. Um, that is, that is my, my Bananakin announcement for today. Um, so I've got some, I've got some extra, extra power, um, with me. Um, I, you look like, you look and sound like Dr. Brown in Good Doctor. I don't know who Dr. Brown is or what Good Doctor is, actually. I feel like I should, I should check that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might actually know what Good Doctor is. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to look this up. Dr. Brown, Good Doctor. Because my mom watches a doctor show and there's a woman on there that she thought, reminded her of me and she sent me a picture. Yes, that is a that is a huge compliment. Thank you because Dr. Brown is gorgeous. Uh, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Value or a joy. Thank you. Thank you. Darian made a Bananakin sticker. I should probably get my hands on that. Um, let's see, Fergie's got some cool words in here. Mermaid, sparkle, unicorn, bright, fluorescent, airy, underwater. I'm gonna add some of these because those are great. Um, let's see, I am going, I have sparkle on there, so I'll leave sparkle on there. Um, I like fluorescent, so let's actually, let's, um, let's put fluorescent on there. Uh, make sure I'm spelling it right because this is a very big word. Um, fluorescent, boom, fluorescent is now on the list. Um, let's see, I like uh, underwater is kind of a cool one, that's interesting. Um, underwater, let's add underwater. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see, let's add, I'm, let's, let's add mermaid, let's go for it. Mermaid, let's add mermaid, I, I put marmaid. I did not mean to add mermaid. <laughs> mermaid, mermaid. Any other words from anyone else? Um, Google spelled it for me. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not alone. Um, I'm gonna add bright, bright. These are some very happy words that you have suggested. Thank you. Um, let's add bright. Um, I, I feel like we have mermaid. Mm -mm, you know what? Let's go ahead and add unicorn. Why not? Unicorn. We'll add unicorn. Um, it's very specific, which I've done. I've, I've tried to be like very vague with some of these words, but it, it, since it's a suggestion from you guys in the chat, let's just add some. Um, neon is a good one from Charles Bell. Let's add neon. Uh, boom, we got neon. Um, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add airy. I don't know what I would do for airy, um, but I think that that would probably be a pretty good um, opportunity to to, to interpret it right um, because for those of you who are new um, I have to I have to interpret these these words that we that we spin for in some sort of way that is going to um, uh, create a project and I can I kind of have control over you know doing that however I want and it would be interesting to kind of um, uh, figure out what it means uh, within the um, the realm of design um, iridescent is cool. Um, I'm spelling it like you're spelling it, so if there's any spelling errors, I, um, I blame Isabel. Um, iridescent is on there. Um, and then we can get one more. Let's, let's grab one more. Um, magic is on there. Magic is on there, Afroja. Um, excellent word, by the way. Um, let's see. I'll take one more. So whoever posts the next word. Um, squirkle. I don't know. <laughs> That sounds like a Pokemon. Squirkle, I choose you! That does not sound um, like anything that exists, so I'm gonna put it on there. Squirkle's going on there. Squirkle makes the cut. Um, squirkle. <laughs> squirkle. Uh, it's like a square circle. I don't know, it's like, like, a, like a square with round edges. Um, and then uh, as a bonus, I'm gonna put mystical on there from Frank, since squirkle is totally not a word. Um, Mystical. Okay. Um, uh, mystical's on there. So we've got, we've got new words. We've got new words. Um, so let's, um, let's go ahead and, and spin our wheel. Let's spin our wheel of design, uh, and grab our keywords for today. Shall we? Let's do it. Let me pop back over here. Dun, dun, dun. And it's not full screen. Let me full screen it. So it looks, there we go. It looks super good in there. Um, let's go for it. All right. Let's see. Uh, word number one. 
uh, event. We've had event before, but I'll put it in there because we could do another event um, event branding. Um, let's spin for another. Um, happy, happy's a good one. Let's do happy. Um, and we can, we've had a couple of these already, so we can replace, we can, we can do more spins once we see everything that we got. Um, oh, you know what? I should be removing them as I go. Nature we've had as well. I'm going to hide choice so we don't spin for it again. Um, nature, uh, let's see, let's spin. Um, spooky. We've had that one too, but I might, I might leave it in there because, you know, uh, you know me. Uh, let's see. Let's get one of our new words. Maybe movements. I think we've had, I think we've had all these, which is something that's going to happen because we've done um, a lot of episodes now. Movement. Um, but we can, uh, I'll let you guys choose whether we re-roll again or not. Okay. And one last one, which is actually the last one that's already in here. So I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and just say, you know what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to come back to my face cam. There is an option here where I can actually, um, I can shuffle. I can shuffle all the words around. Um, so let's, let's do it again now. Let's go ahead and, um, respin. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get some new ones in there. Mystical. Okay. Mystical is happening. I'm going to replace spooky with mystical. Okay. Uh, so we have, um, mystical. I think I spelled that right. I hope so. Um, and hard angles. Okay. Uh, hard angles is a cool one. Let's replace, um, Let's replace happy with hard angles. I hope I spelled angles and not angels, um, because I am obviously the best speller in the world. Um, let's see what else. Uh, seasons. We've had seasons. I'm gonna do one more spin, and then we'll and then we'll focus on what we've what we got. Um, blobs. Okay, mystical blobs. Hard angles is an interesting one to have with blobs, and we've had blobs, so I lied. One more spin. Give us something different. Give us something different. Monotone. Okay, we could do monotone. Um, let's replace music with monotone. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this, and it should update our um, update our. There we go. Cool. Okay, so we've got um, event, hard angles, nature, mystical movement, monotone. All right. We got our, we got our words. Um, now let's jump into some designing, shall we? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? More Val? This is the truth. Yeah, I'm literally on four days a week this week. Um, okay. Let me jump over here. All right. Um, I've got my little thing here. Let me close down my keywords. Um, okay. So just to give you an idea for anybody who's new, this is something that we did, um, previously. This is our Adobe Live. I, I changed the title to Adobe Live Game Show because I made this my graphic for promo today, but it said Fangtastic Undead Confectionaries, um, last time. And we actually illustrated this whole thing in one episode, um, the last time I did the game show. Um, and we came up with, um, just some basically interpreting, holidays as like themed with Halloween, uh, which was really cool. So we did a Halloween themed, um, uh, Valentine's day, which was uh, a joy, uh, to do. Um, and it was, it was definitely like something that is totally my, my style of, of, of stuff. Um, so that was a good, that was a good time. Um, and yeah, so this is the kind of thing we do. Uh, we're doing graphic design today. Um, and graphic design can mean we can design promos. We can design, um, all sorts of things. Um, we've done actually, um, some, uh, I'm going to move this over real quick. We've done actually some graphic design episodes where we actually did like graphic design illustrations. So they were like themes. Um, we did the Hills have kawaii, um, which was really fun. That was boss. I appreciate it. First of all, happy belated birthday. Second of all, all the happiness and joy and enthusiasm in every single stream you do puts me in such a happy place. It's hard to be in a bad mood watching you. Carla, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you are enjoying the show. It uh, brings me so much joy to know that you folks want to be here and hang out with me and, and design with me. And it makes, makes everything, 
um, just so much more fun to have you folks here. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my brush um, and I am just going to start sketching things out. Oh wait, before we start sketching things out, we have to have a word from our sponsors. I almost forgot. It's been so long since we've done this show. So we have fictional sponsors for this show, um, and I, I pass the stream over to Voodoo Vanderdorf, who introduces our, our week's sponsor. Um, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry for that. Hold on. Let me call Let me call my, my, my co-host, Voodoo Vanderdorf, because... Um, that is, ooh, that was a misstep. I almost, I almost didn't do that. All right. Um, game show, game show. It's the Adobe Live game show. Game show, game show. It's the Adobe Live game show. Hello, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Today's awesome sponsor for the Adobe Live Game Show um, is actually me, Voodoo Vanderdorf, and the co-host Glasses. Do you stream on Behance, Twitch, YouTube, or any other platform? Have you been interviewing with no, uh, with no s s satisfaction, trying to find yourself your very own co-host? Well. I've got something for you. Today, you can get your hands on the co-host glasses for the low, low price of 12 installations of 99, 99, 99. Simply place them on your face, suddenly have an announcer voice, and boom, there is your doppelganger co-host. And now I will pass things over to Voodoo Val. All right, <laughs> I can't believe I do this every week. Game show, game show. It's the Adobe Lab game show. All right, thank you, Voodoo Vanderdorf, for that. Uh, as as we said, um, you can get your very own co-host glasses um, for the low, low price of 12 installations of 99, 99, 99. Uh, very low price. Um, and create yourself your very own uh, doppelganger co-host if that's what you need for your shows. Um, everybody needs a co-host. Um, unfortunately, mine is evil, um, but very entertaining. Um, so now, now we will dive in uh, to our to our <laughs> to our illustration and our. Graphic design. Um, all right, so we're gonna be sketching. We're gonna be. <laughs> that's a steel people order now. Yes. Um, uh, so we are gonna be doing some sketches um, utilizing our keywords. So uh, we have hard or event, hard angles, nature, mystical, movement, and monotone. Um, we, movement and hard angles is going to be interesting, but we only have to use four of these six keywords and phrases. Um, so what I'm thinking instantly is we could do a promo for a wizard event, like a wizard meetup. Um, I'm thinking that that would be cool. Like we could do, like, if you want to meet a wizard, um, uh, or you're looking to hire a wizard, um, or you are a wizard and you're looking for wizard pals, you could go, um, to the wizard event, which we would have to name. Um, that's instantly where my head goes. I know that that's a very, very oddly specific thing to to go to instantly, but that's that's what I think we should do. And you folks can post some um, some ideas in the chat. So um, we could do. I'm gonna I'm gonna write some ideas for the event title. We could do um, wizard con. Um, we could do magic meet. Magic meat is kind of kind of rolls off the tongue. Uh, we could do uh, let's see what's something else. What's like some puns, puns, rhyming phrases. Um, uh, we could just we could just give it like the title Spellbound um, because maybe it's a maybe it's a romantic um, is Spellbound with a U, I think it is. Um, maybe it's romantic. Spellbound could be like a, like, you know, like you're looking to meet a wizard guy or gal um, to to spend your life with. I don't know. Um, wizard con, wizard magic meet, spellbound. Um, let's see. I don't know. I, that, those were my three. I feel like I feel like that was pretty quick coming up with with three ideas like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna leave it like right, right there. Um, and then if you folks have any ideas, uh, we can go on on some other ideas. Um, I think uh, we should also I'm gonna turn this on a lower opacity, um, make myself a new layer, um, and I'm gonna start sketching. So I feel like this should have like a logo or like a prominent um, kind of 
like icon or something. Um, maybe we could do like a, a wand that is like a heart um, and that could be an icon that could be interesting. Uh, so like a, a like this. Okay, this is this is transformed almost immediately from wizard meetup um, to a wizard like dating program. Um, the Great Wizard Migration. <laughs> okay, that's got some lore that's got to go go with it, um, and we're gonna definitely put that on here. The Great Wizard my Migration. I think I spelled migration right. I'm not a. I'm not. I can't win a spelling bee, but I could draw you one. Okay. I can't. I can't. Um, I'm not a. I'm not a great speller. Um, okay. Cat jam. I don't know what cat jam is. Is that a product or an event? Um, oh my God, googly eyed goodness. I mean, what are you doing if you're not facilitating googly eyed goodness in your life? What it, you know, Ren? Um, happily ever after. Okay. <laughs> Going with a classic, um, whiz dating. That could be that could be your dating wizards or your dating people who are very smart, um, or smart wizards. Whiz dating, um, interesting. Yes, I play Dungeons and Dragons, so I got lore for days. Um, as do I. As does Panda, who is in the chat. Um, Sam strikes me as a D and D kind of guy. Um, I don't know if he's played before, but I know he does D and D illustrations sometimes. You are among um, friends and nerds here in this chat. Um, D and D is fabulous. Um, it would also be. I mean, we could also go. This might be kind of cliche, but we could also go the route of like just having a hat you know be our our icon like oh that's like kind of a witch hat um maybe we go mickey mouse with it and just do the good old you know you know the the, the good old classic mickey wizard hat you know we could do something like that um uh, that could be interesting. Um, what, what do we... Dungeons and Dragons, yes. Um, we, what else could we do? Honestly, I kind of like, I kind of like the, the wand idea, which could be interesting. Um, so I'm going to put these, these icons over here. So we got titles, we got icons. We are knocking this out of the park. So the episode is shorter this time. We only have an hour. Um, so, cause usually we, before we were having like two hours to do this. So we got, we got to go, we got to kind of speed bedrooms and broomsticks. That is clever. That is so clever, but I don't know if um, Adobe internal team would be happy with me if I designed um, bedrooms and broomsticks, but I like it. I like it, Reg. Um, wizardsonly.com. Uh, obviously, that is going on the list. Wizardsonly.com. Um, Let's see. I put wizard put a wizard hat on the on the on the wand, like on the wand itself. That could be interesting. Let's see if we did like something like that. You know, I feel like that looks like a well. I, I guess actually they both looks like look like a popsicle kind of. But that could be interesting. Um, let's see. What else could we do? We could we could do. We, let's see. We could do like a wand. This is like a magician wand, though. We could do like a maybe a stav. Like a like a. I don't know. That doesn't really look like a staff. Hold on. Let me do it. Let me do it upright first. I was trying to do it like at an angle, and that my brain was like, "What's happening?" It kind of looks like a bone, but maybe that's cool. Maybe that's neat like that. I don't know. Um, there's like a, a wizard stav. We could do like some stuff hanging off of it. Maybe like a leaf or something. I don't know. Um, there's like a wizard staff and we can turn that to the side um, and then we can put a
broomstick. Um, I don't know. This is I'm just I'm just spitballing here. I don't know if that looks that great. Um, but we could do something like that. Uh, that could be interesting. I'm gonna just throw that over here, just as an idea. Um, hearts and st hearts and stars on the hat. Yes. Yes, um, honestly, we could do we could do just hearts on this on the hat too. Let me duplicate this. We're gonna throw this over here, um, and I'm gonna erase this. Boom, um, and we are gonna do. Oops, we're gonna do some. Why? Oh, you know what? Um, it's doing that because. Um, I merged it when it was at a lower opacity. So, um, is it actually transparent or I don't know. Yes, it is transparent. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this. Oh, oops. Can I duplicate this a bunch? No. For why? <laughs> okay. Just going to sample the gray. Um, we can just, we could, I'm just going to put, um, some hearts on it. There we go. Some little hearts. Um, okay. That with a brew. That could be cool. Um, ooh, what if we did like a cauldron? I guess that's more witches, but I mean, we're the masters of this realm. We don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, we could do like a cauldron, right? And then this cauldron um, could have like uh, like heart smoke coming out of it. That's that's kind of cool and we could put like the title right there. That could be interesting. Um, that might work. Uh, okay, so we've got we've got some concepts for like um, imagery um, and then now I feel like we should do like a lineup um, sketch for what the promo can look like, right? Um, so we've got hard angles, nature, mystical movement, monotone. So I think I'm actually thinking that since we only have to use four of the um, of the six keywords, we might remove hard angles and monotone because I feel like this should be pretty colorful and with mystical movement in nature, I feel like. Or we could just remove hard angles and nature and keep monotone. Um, so I'm thinking we do like, I'm gonna look up some reference on Pinterest for like really stylish promos. Um, let's see. Um, Meet up promo. That's, I don't know, like what people would do for like meet up stuff. Or actually, I have a board of just regular design because we technically don't have to follow any rules with this. We could just do um, our own thing. Oh, you know what would be really cool is if it looked like a tarot card, like an Instagram story you know, for, for a tarot card. Um, that could be interesting. Um, or it could look like a grimoire book page, you know, like a, a grimoire is like a, um, like a wizard's tome, you know, that could be cool. Um, that could be interesting. Let's see. I have, where's my design board? Where's it at? Um, here's one of them. Let me open that up. It's always great to look at reference. It's always great to see what other people in the world have done. Oh, okay. I just had an excellent idea because I just, I forgot that I saved this. What if we, what if the promo looks like a ticket? What if the promo looks like a ticket, like, like an old fashioned, old timey, like admit one ticket. Cause I feel like wizards would do that. They would do like kind of old fashioned stuff. Right. 
Um, and let's see, I've got kind of an idea because I see a concept here, but I want to change it and like add some of my own pizzazz to this. So we could do like some, some arching text like so with like the title and something like that. Um, admit one um, and then some stuff like so. Uh, or we could do it, we could do it like that. Just put a texture in the back um, and, and make it like this. <laughs> that could be fun. Um, tarot card ticket also is, I think, a pretty good, a pretty cool idea. Um, so we could do something like this where, um, honestly, we could do all of these. We could, we could end up doing all of these because since the episodes are shorter now because we are not in the two hour time slot anymore, we are in a one hour time slot. I would not be opposed to, because before we were doing two different projects, right? We were doing one project um, uh, one day and then a brand new project with the same keywords the next day. But we, what we could do is we could focus on this, um, on this concept of doing like the wizard dating meet. Um, and we could just do different concepts each day. So we can do a ticket um, and then we could do, um, let's see, have like a, a, a tarot, a tarot card. Um, the idea that would be pretty cool. Um, and then I don't know what would be here. Maybe, um, maybe there's a wizard. I don't know. Um, there's usually just like you know, like design elements that symbolize something on, you know, one of the major arcana or the minor arcana um, for a tarot card. And there's typically a, a border um, around the art um, as well. So that could be cool. We could do a, um, a tarot card. So I'm gonna say, um, please take the ticket. <laughs> do. Ticket, um, we could do tarot, and then let's get another let's get another idea because I don't know how much time because today we did a lot of brainstorming. We kind of put the kind of put the project together, and we'll get into some um, some detailed design. Um, but tomorrow we'll have even more time for design because tomorrow we won't have to brainstorm and select our words and all that kind of stuff. So we might get two done tomorrow. Um, tarot cards, you swipe. Oh my gosh, Greg. You're a genius. We could animate it. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> you are brilliant, Greg. Okay. Okay. Cause it kind of looks like a phone. Okay. So what if, what if it's a, um, a wizard, like, like wizard tender kind of, you know, um, and it looks like a tarot card, um, and you can swipe left and right, and we could put like wizard stuff, because we kind of did this, we did the Booth Alamu dating app, but we didn't make it look like a, um, like a, a tarot card. We made it look like a phone app, but we could design it as a tarot card and then we could design um, a, a ticket for the event. Like this is you're setting up like the group of people you want to meet and then you have an admit one ticket to actually go to the event. Like, ooh, this is this is great. Sorry for the off topic. SpaceX launching a first all civilian crew um, in an hour and a half. That sounds terrifying because as a Star Wars fan, um, I'm I'm weary of space. I'm weary of space. Um, I I wouldn't go up there so long as Bananakin um, is in space. I think that that is probably not a great not a great idea. Um, would be fun to see it animated. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Um, futuristic card. Uh, Voodoo, I'll be sure to thank Voodoo Vanderdorf for the speed of light shipping on those glasses. Yes, yes, um, I will. Um, how else are wizards going to get the attentions of pretty wishes? That's what I'm saying. That's what I. That's what I'm saying. Um, um, or the expanse. That's what it's called. Yeah, the expanse. <laughs> um, okay, so. 
I think that's what we'll do. I think we will make a tarot card and animate it tomorrow because that's going to take longer. And then today we will focus on the admit one ticket. How does that sound? That sounds like a project to me. That sounds like, like a legitimately cool, dope, uh, thing to do. So I'm going to hide this. We're going to focus on our ticket. And what we need to do is we need to choose our, um, we need to choose our title. Okay. Um, so I'm going to hide, I'm going to hide our icons. I'm going to bring our titles down here and I'm going to crank up the fill on that again, just so we can see them clearly. So we have wizard con, wizard me, tapley ever after, wiz dating, spellbound, wizardsonly.com or the great wizard migration. I really like the great wizard migration, but I don't think it's like romancy. Um, so I might, we might do away with that one. Not that it's not a great idea, but I don't know if it fits. Um, since we're doing old fashioned, I mean, I guess we're making like an animated app. What if it's not an animated app though? Cause we want to stick with like the old timey wizard feel. What if it's a magic card? Like if you've ever seen Harry Potter, I know mentioning Harry Potter is going to elicit a lot of screeching from Anna Davis court, who's I think is still in chat. Um, but what if, if you've, if you've seen Harry Potter, how they have papers like newspapers and window ads and like the, um, Harry Potter candy boxes that have animations on them and stuff. What if we just animate the tarot card to just change the art? and stuff on there of like the different attendees of this event. So we can keep it with the kind of old timey feel. Um, I don't know that wizardsonly.com would work for that because it kind of gives um, a, a reference to modern technology. So maybe we should, you know, we should take that one off screen. <laughs> yes. Um, Spellbound does sound romantic. Um, I like, I like Spellbound um, and I'm not being biased just because it was my idea. I do think now that we've developed this one, that that one's a good one. I do really like Happily Ever After. After. I think that that kind of goes in with like the old timey feel. Um, and uh, let's see, whiz dating is cool. Whiz dating works. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna x out wizard con because that sounds more like a comic con kind of thing. And we have magic meat. So um, I think that we should vote on these um, and I can make a poll or um, Sam Peterson, if you don't mind, I think you're our mod for today, right, Sam? Um, if you want to, um, I would love for you to make a poll with Magic Meat, Spellbound, Wiz Dating, and Happily Ever After if you are able, um, because then we can post a poll in the chat um, and we can uh, kind of vote on what we want. And then in the meantime, uh, I can choose, we could choose an icon, um, because we have a bunch of, a bunch of icons here, um, that work. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the ones that I'm partial to are, um, I'm liking the, the, the hearts on the wizard hat here. Um, I'm liking the cauldron too, but I think the cauldron is very detailed, but I'm still going to circle it because I think it's a good idea. Um, and then I'm thinking the wand, like the, the love wand, but I don't know if the love wand looks extra. Well, I guess it, I mean, it does look magical. We can do some like magical effects around it. Um, but I'm almost thinking that the best one is going to be the the love cap, the love hat there. You are. Okay, cool. Um, Harry Potter with love magic wand. Um, that would be cool. Um, so maybe we will choose, um, between the hat, the wand and the cauldron. I, mm, with the time constraint, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove the cauldron cause that'll take a, that'll take a while. So we have the wand and the hat. Um, Let's see, a cauldron with a wizard hat and a witch's hat like discarded by it or something. I'm trying not to be too suggestive. We have to be very family friendly <laughs> with, with this concept, we do. Um, so yeah, the the um, the titles is out of the four, uh, Magic Meat, Spellbound, Wiz Dating, and Happily Ever After, I think um, would, would be the best ones to choose. Um, we'll, go, we'll go with that um, and see whichever you 
Um, let's see. So yeah, we want we want to pull for um, these four, and then I think so that we don't have to wait for pulls for the icon. I think personally, I'm gonna go with the hat for the icon, so we don't need to vote on the on the icon because I know I can do the hat quickly, and um, it's gonna be something that is like small. There's not a gigantic silhouette to an icon like this and we can kind of move forward with the project so i'm going to make executive decision we're going with the with the love hat there and so we just need a pull for these four um keywords um okay so um i'm trying to keep this up just so that you can uh, see what you need to put on there, but let me know if you still need it, because if you don't, then I am going to, um, I'm going to toggle it off and start designing the, uh, the ticket. I can kind of start right here for now, but, um, okay. So we're doing, we're doing graphic design today. I've been sketching and stuff, but I like to sketch before I really start plotting out or start like adding details to any kind of graphic design project. Um, but now since we have like a pretty good idea of what we're doing, um, I am going to go ahead and start using, um, some shapes. So I'm going to make this like a charcoal color. Um, we can choose colors together. Um, but for now I'm going to actually, no, I'm going to keep it like a, maybe a purple, um, just for now, uh, so that I can see it. Boom. Um, let's put that under my sketch here and I'm going to make my sketch darker. Okay. We got, we got to pull up. I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait to see what you folks choose. I'm going to go ahead and vote. I feel like I get to vote. So I'm going to vote because I make the rules. <laughs> okay. And you guys go ahead and vote on that while I start hashing this out. So we got our rectangle in. Um, I'm going to have to do some clever stuff here with um, kind of cutting out the shapes of this. Um, and I think actually the way I'm going to do that is with a layer mask. So I'm going to make this wider and then I think I'm going to select a, an, a my ellipse uh, shape here. Um, and I am going to draw some circles right quick. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold shift and draw a circle like that. Uh, and I'm going to change this to a darker, maybe I'll change it to a charcoal just so I can see it clearly. Um, and I'm going to do like this. So I'm going to put that there, duplicate it, and I am going to bring this down like so, duplicate it bring this down like so. And I'm looking, okay, there are 81 pixels between each other. So I got my grids kind of snapping here so that I can be very precise. Ooh, another 81 there. If you don't have your grids turned on, all you have to do is hit control H by the way. Um, so we'll do that. Another 81 pixels and then we'll do one more. another 81 pixels. Okay. And I have all of these. I'm going to go ahead and group this. Uh, and I'm going to center it on here. And I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to select the topmost and bottommost um, ellipse. And I am going to bump them in more like that. Um, okay. So we've got that. I'm going to duplicate this whole group, transform it, flip it horizontal, bump it over here. Uh, and then I'm going to hit enter. 
Then I'm going to select both of these groups, hit Control E to merge them all together. And then I'm going to hold Control and select all of them like this. So I've clicked on that, um, that layer uh, icon there, the image of the layer holding control so I select everything that's in there and then I can come to my rectangle over here um, and I can add, I should be able to add um, a layer, oops, let me actually select inverse. Select inverse and I'm gonna add a layer mask. And then if I hide this, I should have my ticket shape, ta-da! Magic Meat took the lead. All right, let me let me peek at it. Let me peek. Let me peek. Um, Magic Meat is taking the lead. Okay, um, and it's actually taking the lead by quite a bit. So I think we'll, we'll let's go with Magic Meat. Okay, um, let's go with Magic Meat. That's the name of our uh, of our thing here. Um, okay, so we have our ticket shape. Um, pretty quickly here. How much time do we have? We have about 10 minutes. Um, this is like really kind of blown by, uh, but we have 10 minutes. So let's see, I am going to, we got to choose a font. Um, and I think I have actually a font that is going to work. Let me cycle through my fonts real quick, but I'm pretty sure that I know what we're going to use, um, for something like this. I have the Diablo two font. <laughs> Um, where are my Diablo 2 fans at? Holler at me if you're a nerd. Um, well, Mason is not specifically the, the Diablo 2 font. Um, it's actually Exo Set is the official um, Diablo 2 font, but Mason has very, very similar, um, similar vibes to it. Um, and I think that we should go with like a medieval y, like, cool font like this. So we're gonna type um magic meat um and i am going to i don't know if i'm going to do this in caps or not um but i'm going to type let's see let's try it in caps let's see what it looks like in caps um and can i change this to okay we only have regular uh, but i think actually let me go grab exoset because exoset is actually in adobe fonts by the way, um, Exoset is, I'm going to post a link to this just because I have it up right here. Um, D2, woohoo, yes. So Exoset um, is an Adobe font. Um, you can find it here um, and you can see it's very, very similar, but there's actually different, um, different weights. Um, so I'm going to, it says it's not in use. Let me deactivate and activate my fonts. Okay. Um, and then I should have them in here. I don't know if I'm going to need to, uh, let me see. I don't know if I'm going to need to restart. Exoset. There it is. Boom. Um, and I think I'm actually going to keep it so it's not all caps. Let's see. Um, I'm going to, oh, maybe it's the same no matter what. Yeah, it is. It might not have different weights. Um, and let's try Okay, I like this. Um, let's hide this one. Let's use this one. Um, and I'm going to do some noodling with the font itself. So I'm going to bring it closer together. Boom, boom. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use this for now. It it this might be something that changes, uh, but I like it because it's kind of wizardy. Um, and I am going to now do some sketching over top of this here with not sketching sketching, but just you know some shapes and stuff, and just kind of um, elaborate on this idea that we have going here. So um, I think I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna use a brush here to add some uh texture to it like a like a noise texture uh, what colors uh what colors do you want next week diablo 2 over and over yeah it's getting remastered right yeah d2 is getting resurrected um uh, flynn tracy what's up yes it is 100 my two favorite games 
in all of this world are are getting reboots. Um, Diablo 2 is coming back and KOTOR is coming back. Nice at Star Wars Night of the Old Republic is coming back. Um, so your girl's gonna be uh, sequestered in the cave for a while. I'm only gonna poke my head out into the sunlight when I need to stream on Adobe Live. Um, okay. Uh, I kind of want to do black and gold for this, to be honest. I think black and gold would work, or like black and bronze, because uh, we're doing monotone. Like monotone is one of our keywords. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking like black and bronze. So I'm actually going to change the color of this. I'm going to go ahead and go to color overlay grab a charcoal. I don't know if we can do this because it's a shape. There we go. Okay. Um, and I am going to, I'm going to hide magic meat right now. Um, I'm going to actually, you know what? I'll use my gradient tool. I'm going to use my grid because we're trying to do like more graphic design type stuff. So I'm just going to use tools like this. Um, and I'm going to grab a darker color. Um, like a black and then I'm going to change um, this to like a lighter here and I'm going to use this other um, what is this called I can't remember what that gradient is called in specifically but I'm gonna use it uh, and I'm gonna actually make this not transparent I'm gonna do it like that um, and then I'm going to drag this out like so boom and I am going to put this on, can I put this on dissolve? Actually, no, I can't. So I do have to do it a different way. I do have to use this other one. Um, let's put it on transparent like that. I'm gonna put this layer on dissolve and I should be able to, okay, let me switch it. Should be able to put this light color here Maybe we'll do an even lighter color. Okay, light color there on a dissolve layer and I'm going to create a clipping mask. Can I, why can't I, hold on. Let me rasterize this shape, um, rasterize layer. And then I should be able to clipping mask this. No, rasterize layer style. There we go. Okay, so I got my, I got that. So this is on a dissolve layer, and then I'm gonna add another um, layer uh, here that is also gonna be a clipping mask, and I'm gonna switch to this dark color, uh, and we are going to use the regular gradient um, and come in from the sides here, and we're gonna put that on a dissolve as well, so it's kind of textury, and then we're going to merge these. So it kind of just gave us like a nice, noise texture on here which i'm going to turn the fill down on um, and we've got just a few minutes here um and i can't um i, I know I, I i can't really like continue to design on this too much um but basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to use like a lot of textures and stuff to kind of create this noisy um vibe and what i'm going to do um, next maybe we have time just to do this is i'm going to come in with some shapes and we're going to use clipping masks for this too and i'm going to come in with some with some gold here on the ends um, and what I'd like to do is uh, bring in some gold leaf textures. Um, I think gold leaf texture would be really cool um, for this. Let me crank that up. Um, we could do like more of a bronze, like coppery color. Maybe that would be cool. Uh, let's throw this on a clipping mask, create clipping mask. Um, and I'm gonna put that just right to the edges there just so that we definitely have um, this the right size and shape um why okay duplicate it boom um and i'm gonna put a clipping mask on this um and then what i'm gonna do between today and tomorrow is go grab a um a, like a metal texture um and throw that metal texture in there and we'll put some um some borders and like start designing this um i've got like a minute and a half so i do have to take off because our shows are a little shorter now um but we are gonna get into making this pretty cool um remaking kotori yes didn't know um it's coming it's not coming just yet it's gonna be a little bit but um 
Yes, perfect environment for streaming. Um, okay, Midnight Blue could be cool too, Carla. Ooh, you know what? I might go with the Midnight Blue just for you. Um, but that's all the time we have for today. I do have to take off because I don't want to get cut off, but we're going to be back tomorrow finishing the ticket and designing our magic swipeable tarot card of wizard and witch suitors, uh, which I'm very, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to come back. So I'll be back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific time for another episode of the Adobe Live Game Show. And I hope to see all of you folks there. So bye-bye and until next time. Adios, folks. Thank you.